Hello everyone and welcome back to Middle Earth. This is the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. And we will play through the story a little bit. This game is still in early access. Um, I do have a deck now. I'm not sure if this is what we will use in the story. Potentially. I have a deck including Aragorn, Arwen, and Gimli. It is the Stewards of Gondor starter deck, which is the version of the game um, that I purchased. And we also got three Palantir views as part of that, which, as far as I understand, is just bonus content. At first, the globe was dark, black as jet, with the moonlight gleaming on its surface. Then there came a faint glow and stir in the heart of it, and it held his eyes, the two towers. So that was what Pippin saw. So we can gaze into the Palantir and see what happens. Use one Palantir view, yeah. Ooh. So we got Galadriel's Handmaiden. On arrival we lose one... Would this be threat? Or fate? One of both. Um... A common card and 250 Valor, which we can use to unlock more stuff. Okay, so we might as well use these up, see what we get, and then we'll jump into the first chapter of the story. Barleman Butterbur. <laughs> he is the keeper of the Prancing Pony in Bree. And we have a spider card back. Interesting. And the last view. Brain of Arrows. Deal one damage to every enemy. Seems okay. And we have an avatar of just a ranger, it seems. Maybe he is... Oh, uh, here we can see what it means. So it's a bonus system, yeah. Cool. Um... So let's see, Avatar. So we have this Ranger Avatar, which isn't bad. Should be a decent Lurky. We have the Aragorn Avatar. This one, whichever that is. And that's about it. Frames. Okay. Oh, this frame or that frame? Sure, we'll take this frame. Alright. Avatar changed. Now, let's jump into play. And start this story after the tutorial. Now that Bilbo has been taken, let's see where this takes us next. Oh. Atacop, Atacop. An anguished Gloin arrives at Bjorn's Hall with dreadful news. A great spider has captured Bilbo Baggins. He besieges a hardy band of heroes to help rescue his dear friend. I must complete the previous quest. Okay. So this will be our quest. I uh, believe we can play on hard. See how that goes. And we will play with our pre-made deck. Okay. So we'll give this a try. And depending on how it goes, I will give deck building a look as well in the future. We could play this in co-op. Well, coming soon. Okay. So this is still early access. Let's see what the single player has in store for us. We are connecting. I'm expecting a story again. I'll try not to talk over it. After arriving at Beyond's Hall, you've learned the famous Bilbo Baggins was taken by Mirkwood Spiders mere hours ago. Without hesitation, you volunteer to find and retrieve the Hobbit, hopefully before he's consumed, or worse. And so you find yourself before Greenwood the Great, that the wary and the wise call Mirkwood. A sleeping evil once inhabited the Greenwood, but was purged many years ago. The forest has since known a period of peace and the return of wholesome life. As the shadows now gather under the trees, you sense a foulness on the air. You fear evil may have returned to this realm. Hmm, Dol Guldur. The ancient fortress that is 
within the Mirkwood and has tainted it black. I remember the expansion coming out for Lord of the Rings Online. That was good times. You begin to search for clues as to which direction the spiders took Bilbo. There are ample signs of recent struggle in the small glade, and several of the Hobbit's possessions are strewn about. After a few moments, you notice a gleam of metal on the forest floor. Perhaps a sign. You're about to investigate, as several giant spiders creep into the glade. They don't seem at all interested in assisting the search. Quite the contrary. Well, who would have thought? If by life or death I can save you, I will. Mine is the choice of Luthien. My axe is restless in my hands. Okay, so here's our starting hand. We can select any cards we wish to change. So gaining strength, we just gain resources. Um, that could match up pretty well with the cards we have. We can heal, which I believe we don't need just yet. We have a search character, Warden of Anuminous, and a guard of the Citadel. Okay, so I'll get rid of, actually get rid of this one as well, I think one extra resource to play these two. If I'm correct in assuming we start with three resources. We will see. Your quest begins. Defeat every enemy or resolve glint of steel. Okay. So we we have three resources, correct? We have the Ethelian Lookout who has no effect. Um, cost two, but is a pretty solid card overall. And we have the Rohirrim Lancer. A more defensive... Oh, actually not. He's just straight up worse than the Ethelian Lookout. <laughs> Fair enough. So here we are, Aragorn, Arwen, and Gimli. Gimli not really fitting into this band so much, but it seems we have Arwen as a mainly lore character, Gimli as a combat character, probably more defensive, and then Aragorn more balanced. Do they have powers? Yes. So Aragorn has a power to spend one resource to ready Aragorn and gain a search action. Okay, that could be good. Once we've attacked, he could attack again using a resource. Arwen has restore one health to a character during upkeep. That's useful. And Gimli gain plus one damage, that is attack, this round after the first time a character is damaged in the round. Okay, so that's a passive ability. That's pretty much passive too, it's an upkeep, and this one we have to pay a resource for. Alright. So with these three resources, we could play the Warden with search. Our history shall be preserved. See what Sauron does. Do I already know what Surge really does? Let's double check that. Hmm? This keyword grants you an immediate action after the card is played. Okay, so Sauron did not gain an action there because of Surge. So let's gain strength. As Arwen gets attacked and Gimli gains attack power, we can play a Warden. Uh, four health. Yeah, that should protect us for a bit. I serve the steward of Gondor. So he's just attacking. Fair enough. We now need to go through this one. So let's attack with Gimli. Probably would have made sense to attack with this guard while well, we can. Yeah, we can attack with them right away, it seems. Um, that way we wouldn't have lost the amount of damage here. So let's attack with the Warden over there. Do they have abilities? Horse Spider and Giant Spider and a Hive Guardian. This one is stalwart, that's why it can attack twice. Alright. Um let's let's attack the Guardian Spider. 
Go for Arwen here. And that worked out quite well because now he can't attack anymore. He plays Watchful Eye. At the end of round, gain one threat, I believe is what that is, is it? It's that sign, yeah, it's not fate. Alright. And that's about it, so we need to resolve that if we don't want to keep gaining threat and making him stronger. One cool design tweak, I guess, is moving this over here so I can see it while seeing the history. I guess I would want to leave the history on while I play, especially with how quickly the cards pass through. So with Aragorn, we could just progress towards the quests, examine the strange gleam under the leaves. Um, we could engage that, or we could just get rid of more spiders. I feel like that's probably worth it. I serve no man. A Mirkwood flock. Sauron gains one resource. And now he passes, that means the round is over. We're starting a new round. People are readying. We will gain resources. We can heal one. Let's heal Gimli, actually. We draw two new cards that we will take a look at. Three resources now. Okay. So, defeating all enemies seems possible this round, depending on what Sauron plays. Does this indicate he has five cards in hand? Maybe. Um, we have the Galadon Archer, a ranged unit, on arrival deal 1 damage, okay, that's decent, so we could take that out right away if we wanted to, actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. We have Mithrandir's advice to draw two cards, I don't think we need that this turn, we will play the Archer, deal 1 damage here. you in the dark <laughs> and there she's gone but she soaked up some damage so that's all good we will now use the warden and he plays a hive guardian with guard but Gimli can attack into that he will take the damage but he can sustain it he plays a forest spider up next Let's attack with Aragorn. He cannot stand alone. And now with Arwen, I will engage or re resolve this one. He plays Unwavering. Creature against Stalwart, okay. And Stalwart exactly means... Uh, what? A unit with this keyword does not exhaust after the first action each round. Okay, yeah, so they can attack twice. Um, I could use Aragorn's ability to attack once more, but it wouldn't resolve anything. Sure, it could make progress towards the quest. Oh, the Rohirrim Lancer is ranged unit. Didn't pick up on that the first time. I think we will play the Thelian Lookout as just a solid creature on board here. My eyes see everything. Sauron passes, so we could just progress towards the objective. 4 2. And the round ends. Awen can heal once again. Let's heal the warden. Actually, that didn't do much because he could still take him out if he wanted to. We have a sneak attack, play a random ally, that ally gains fleeting. That could be good. Um, it's cheap, so it's a pretty good card. We could just resolve the quest now. Maybe we should do that. Um, let's progress towards it with Arwen. Yeah, I think... That should be good. Let's do it with him. 
Lying on the forest floor is a small elven blade, beautiful, strong, and light. This must be Bilbo's sword Sting, a valuable treasure. Okay. We gained Sting. And we could now travel, giving these two creatures another attack. I think that is the best outcome we can have here. Let's see what the fleeting the sneak attack can give us. Many irons in the fire? A Ziggle Miner. Exhaust Ziggle Miner to gain one resource. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we could equip Sting to someone and then take this out, but it will attack anyway. So I would say we travel. Alright. Let's see what's up next. Bilbo's mind must have been clear during the first moments after his capture. You notice that he slid his sword along the undergrowth as he was hauled away. When the spider's poison immobilized him, he must have dropped Sting. Encouraged, you venture into the shadowy green-gray wilderness that is Mirkwood. Meanwhile, the small cocoon has dropped before the lady. Ha! Eats it, my lady! Scrumptious it is! Taste! <laughs> the skinny creature squeals in pleasure and anticipation, jumping to and fro on arms and legs as if a spider himself. The creature gives the cocoon a kick. Falsities, badness, trickster, thief, cheater, Callum, Callum, eats it, eats it. The enormous spider moves to hover over the cocoon. Spear-sized mandibles emerge slowly from its dripping maw. Suck it to bounces, milady! No hangness or drying is needed. Not like tough dwarfs, or tricky elves, sweet and juicy habitus. Just leave closes, milady. For precious, precious, he's in its pockets, says, my precious. The spider monstrosity is about to delve into our meal when a sudden noise is heard from the edge of the lair. Flapping its hands nervously and bobbing its scrawny neck, the creature pleads. Oh, don't listen to woodsy noises, my lady. Eat, eat. While habit is warms. Someone has arrived, and the spiders move to greet them. Mm -hmm. Here we come. Azim's Golem has once again, or maybe for the first time now, allied with a spider, a large spider queen of the Mirkwood, much like Shelob, that he would ally later on during the Lord of the Rings. Whereas we are here more so in the timeline of the Hobbit um, story, or shortly after, it seems. For hours you delve into the menacing forest. Thorny undergrowth and sticky crawlers grab at you as if with minds of their own. A subtle change in the echo of the wood heralds a change in scenery, and you soon come upon a dark, gurgling stream. While the watery smells and soothing sounds relax you, you've been warned not to trust any water in Mirkwood, save for that gathered from fresh rain. The spiders must have crossed the stream by traversing the canopies above, but how will you cross? A nearby dead tree may be the answer. You attempt to push at the dry trunk, hoping for it to fall and bridge the stream. Unfortunately, your efforts attract the local wildlife. Mm. So let's get ready for a fight. Maybe we don't arrive just yet at the Spider Queen's lair. Find a way across the stream. We have some creatures and our plate creatures, including our hand, stays the same. So that is good to know um, for making our decision in the future. Even the threat stays the same. So yeah, we're, we're in this for the long run for this entire chapter, I believe.
There's more of them? Three forest spiders enter play as a threat event because we've reached a 35 threat. This will fairly quickly stack up, I believe. Uh, just as you thought the situation under control, more of the giant hairy creepy crawlers emerge from the trees. So here we have a lot of enemies. We can heal. We're in critical condition with these two heroes at this point. Um, I will heal Gimli for now, just so it's harder to take any one of them out should the enemy focus. Draw one card. Adventure face. So let's see here. We have a wild bear that has pursuit and stalwart. So stalwart means he does not exhaust after his first action. Could make take two actions. We have a normal rock adder, black forest bats, and then these two spiders. Foul weather is one of our quest goals. In upkeep, reduce each player's card draw by one, which currently we can deal with. Could be good. Um against Sauron, though I don't know if we can see how many cards he has in hand. Still looks like five. And down a tree, push over the tree to bridge the stream. So that's what we need to progress towards, but I believe first we should clear the field a little bit. Let's see what pursuit means for us. This keyword allows the unit to follow your heroes from one location to the next. Okay, so we'll be doing well in taking that out. Uh, now we could equip Sting to Aragorn, I would say. Aragorn can use it. Oh, he gets attacked right away. And then we could play the... Guard of the Citadel to soak up two attacks here, hopefully. Oh, I guess just one. Let's attack with him because he can just take it out and this bat seems pretty strong for, for the ease in which it is taken out. Yeah, there he takes that out. We could ignore this for this round now and rather focus on these spiders. Aragorn will get a plus one from Sting when we attack a spider, so let's take one out right away. I serve no man. Gets attacked and quite focused quite a bit here. So Gimli can just end this rock adder. Which means he is out of actions. And we'll see what he plays. Discard a random hero's attachment. Man, but that costs four resource and we've used it already this turn, so I would say we got our use out of it. Um we could play the sneak attack, that means we couldn't play the rare lancer. Could resolve this. But um I'm okay with leaving this card in, reducing each player's card draw for now, because we also still have Mithrandi's advice to draw two cards should be needed. I will attack the bear here. Thorum passes, so we have the board for ourselves. We can take out the bear and then progress with Arvin towards the objective. And in this case, we could just play the Rohirrim Lancer. And attack a spider. Because why not? Yeah, new round. Okay. So I'm slowly getting a feel for how the game goes. Let's heal Arwen here. We draw Gandalf. Yeah, it's strange. We can't see how many cards Sauron has, so we don't really know how much this really affects him. How many cards he draws in the first place. 
Um, with Gandalf, we could draw three cards, lose three threat, which I think is very useful. I definitely want to play him or deal three damage. We can deal with the stuff on the board. Uh, we're okay on cards still. Um, should we play him right away? Let's take out one of the spiders. Before Sauron gets the opportunity of doing an attack with it. Oh, and we don't have enough... Well, yeah, I didn't notice that. We don't have enough uh, resources to play Gandalf. So we'll keep in him in hand. Refreshes each round. So to play him, we would need to gain two resource from some cards. Interesting, okay. Then let's play the sneak attack, see what kind of fleeting ally we get. Hopefully some useful effect. Give a character stealth from the Sylvan Tracker. Hmm, let's give the archer here. Not idly do the leaves of Lorien fall. A king spider with block. So this just gives a character stealth. And then block removes one damage we deal to the spider. We could just end the turn here. None of these have pursuit. But end the adventure. I think I'm okay with that. See what he attacks. That one is out, we can deal with that. Um, do we get anything from this? Not really, right? Um, like we remove the effect, but the effect should be removed when we go on traveling now anyway, right? Fall weather. So yeah, I would say let's travel. And see what we have up next. The dead tree falls across the stream with a splintery crack. You use the fallen trunk to step across, careful to not slip. What could cause wild creatures to attack so? Perhaps the corrupted stream is their main source of water. As you jump off the trunk on the far side, a deep rumble greets you. For a brief moment, you wonder what could make such a sound, but only for a brief moment. For out of the shadows shambles an enormous black bear. It roars. The sound is staggering. It fills the air like a living thing, terrifying and primordial. The impact of the roar sends you reeling backwards, almost into the stream. It charges. An avalanche of fur, teeth and claws. Hmm. I would have said it's probably one of the Bjorningers. But maybe not if it attacks us like that. Let's see here. Defeat Kyrus. Okay. That is our quest target. He has four attacks, so let's heal our Warden of Illuminus. So he can't be taken out. We drew a veteran axe hand. Dwarf that has a lot of health, basically. And then Kyrus. Exhaust any character that Kyrus attacks. Ooh, okay. But he can only attack once a turn, and then Zoran has seven resources. We have five resources now. So we could remove threat before this rises to 39. I think that would be worth it. Gives him a chance to attack something and maybe take out the Ethelian lookout to the very left there with four health. But yeah, I think. Go back to the abyss! Exactly. I think this will be worth it. Oh, he takes out the archer. And now he's exhausted, so we can just hack into him. Let's use Gandalf first. He has the most attack. Go back to the shadow. A Markwood Brood Mother. On arrival, add one hatchling spider, then gain one threat. So that was good. 
um, we would have been much closer to the maximum threat. Let's take out this hatchling spider. And now keep hitting Kyrus. He passes, so yeah, we did it. He cannot stand alone. Cool. That worked out quite well. We can now travel. There's no way of dealing with this right away, so yeah. Let's do that. Oh, Gandalf was a fleeting ally? Okay. Before the monotony of the forest claws at you again, you come upon a sudden clearing. The sluggish breeze and one grey light of the dell are a welcome change from the humid twilight of the forest. On the far side of the clearing, you spy what you've been looking for. A group of large spiders hovering over a tightly wound cocoon. It's time for a rescue. Yeah, here we come now. Let's get Bilbo. Final encounter. Defeat every enemy. Okay. And our goal is to free Bilbo. We can heal. Let's heal Gimli. draw two new cards. So let's see here. A thick cocoon jerks wildly from side to side. Slash at the strands to free the occupant. So if we free this we probably gain Bilbo as another fighter. We have spiders here with guard. Nothing other that is any special. We drew self-preservation. Restore one in upkeep. It's a special card. Okay. And Imladris Caregiver, on arrival, restore two health to a character. That's good. Uh, I'm not sure... probably we want to play this. But we only have three, so maybe we attack with Aragorn once again. Okay, let's see. Let's... remove guard with this guy here. Ooh, he's down, okay. And now... That one deals one damage. Let's use Aragorn to remove guard. Gimli gets hit, let's take this one out before it can attack. Yeah, they're focusing on Gimli right now. Uh, using Gimli and Aragorn's ability, we could still take out this one, which I think should be very much worth it. Ooh. Stalwart Defender with Guard. That changes our plans. Um, let's play the Caregiver anyway, and save Gimli here. To Rivendell. Oh, it goes for him. And we could just progress towards the objective. Oh, yeah. Turned around. Restore every objective to its full quest value? Seriously? That wasn't cool. Okay, so we could use Aragorn's ability take out this one, it's probably worth it. Let's see here. Is it this? Power button? Yeah. We'll do that, use a resource to ready him up again and take out no the spider. Discard one card. End of round, reduce each player's hand to three cards. Okay, that's the event Sauron just played there. Um, we can get rid of the veteran axe head. He has a lot of health. Maybe we get rid of the Athelian lookout. We don't need that much quest value right now. Yeah. So we'll want to resolve that. We'll also want to resolve Bilbo soon. 
that was a pretty strong effect there. Um, restoring the quest quest values. Yeah. So all of them have two attack. Let's heal this one just for strategical reasons. Draw another axe hat and a Galadon archer to deal one damage. But we need to take out the guards first. Let's use the Thelian lookout just because he has the potential to go down here. Yep, there he goes. If we attack with Gimli now, he could take Gimli out. If I attack with Arwen... No. Um... We might have to play the axe hat here. Let's do that and see. Force him to make a move. Yeah, let's take out guard like this. Alright, alright. Now... The archer. I still wonder if the ranged ability will take out guard from a creature. We'll have to try that eventually. You breathe so loud I could shoot you in the dark. Yeah. And there's a new guard. <laughs> Let's take that out with her. Yeah. Okay. And now Gimli can take this out. And we can free Bilbo. Sauron passes, so that's good. Played a secret card? Hmm. Oh, it's not Bilbo. Treachery triggered. Treacherous fog. After you play a card, lose a random card from your hand. Ooh. Okay. We lose the axe hat. A surprising rescue. You tear into the concerningly large cocoon. Much to your disappointment. But not to his, the cocoon doesn't contain Bilbo, but a beyonding by the name of Willelk. Cool. He is stalwart, so he's pretty strong for us right now. Um... He can't progress towards the objective, so let's just attack here. And take out this one as well. Hey, that should do it. We've taken out all enemies. Quest complete! Alright. Meanwhile, the lady and her brood are gathered at the edge of their lair. A band of orcs and goblins had emerged from the trees. Some heave empty wagons. Others carried torches. A huge orc tries to stand before the lady. Oh, the moon is full, Spidey! Uthak comes to collect! He snarls. The lady titters at her lieutenants who rush back into the webs. The spiders soon return with web-wrapped cocoons, depositing them in front of the orc captain. Goblins rush to gather the cocoons, loading them into carts. As the last cocoons are loaded, a hooded goblin begins screeching at Uthak, pointing to a parchment full of hash marks. Uthak glares at the yelling goblin for a moment, then blinks and pivots back to the lady. We won short, Leggy! The orc's grainy voice is mild, but laced with promise of violence. Cold masters don't like short. Uthok don't like short. We had deal. Well, looks like someone is in trouble. Will we be taking on the orcs and the spiders together? Since the quest is complete, I believe we will see in the next episode. But let's just double check. After recovering, Will Elk thanked you profusely. Over the past few months, he tells you, a number of tribesmen have gone mysteriously absent. He suspects they've fallen prey to similar circumstances, but offers no explanation as to why the great spiders have suddenly become so daring. 
Afraid to return home through the forest alone, Will Elk offers to join you and suggests which direction the spiders were taking him. Somewhere under the never-ending trees before you, an old hobbit awaits rescue or doom. Yeah, we have to press on to rescue Bilbo. Gain rewards, final threat level, surviving heroes, surviving heroes health, hazard resolved and fate events used. Final score 175 of 275. Reward 175 of that plus 50 because it was hard difficulty. Cool. Your final score determines whether any one-time hero rewards are granted for this quest. A hero can gain each reward only once per quest. If you didn't earn any rewards this time, you can try again until you do. Huh. Okay. Seems slightly random, but we'll, I'm sure we'll figure it out. And with this, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode, which should be coming in on Friday of this week. I'll see you then. Goodbye, my friends.